Good morning guys and welcome back to another Cape Town vlog. This week in this vlog we've got some exciting things coming up. Number one is that I am selling my Jeep Wrangler what I've had for over seven years. Yes, now this is an extremely sad day because I've got a lot of attraction for this car But with a sad day comes a good day and that is is that I'm getting myself a new 2017 Jeep Wrangler four-door Definitely saving my JBL speakers inflatables speed charts 7k G weight It's quite a process selling a car. This Jeep has been around South Africa with me for the last seven years. It's taken me to the Cedarburg Mountains on camping trips into the mountains near Citrusdale to go glamping. It's done multiple trips down the coast toward the garden route. This car really has been with me for a long period of my life and it has a significant influence on who I've become. If you guys are Jeep Wrangler fans, let me know down in the comments. I'm so fortunate and humble to build to own one. Wait till tomorrow and then see what happens with the new car and with the sale of this car. The car's not ready yet. Secret little party happening here with a whole bunch of cool travelers. Tomorrow, hopefully, is the day that we can go pick up the new Jeep. <laughs> I can barely speak. I'm so excited. It's unbelievable. Yeah. We've arrived at where we're gonna do a full car tour now of this Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. It might just be the coolest gift that I've ever gotten myself. Mind blowing, it is a step up from the previous Jeep that I had, what was a 2009 model. This baby, she's a 2017 world of a difference. Camps Bay in Cape Town, South Africa. This is my home base. This is where I live. This is where I spend majority of the year. This place is home and that's why I've got this baby right here. As you can see, leather seats. We have the Rubicon stitching. Seats are extremely comfortable for all road trips, long distance drives, 4 by 4 -ing. Definitely an upgrade from the older Jeep models. New cruise control buttons, nice Jeep logo. Love this, especially for like POV driving shots. Always getting the Jeep logo in. Massive Jeep fan. If you guys like Jeeps, drop this video with a like. I feel like it's a certain character of people that are in love with the Jeeps. Yeah, if you're one of them, drop this video with a like. Anyways, the back, three seats, very spacious. We have this roll bar, roll cage all around the car. What means, if you guys are familiar with Jeeps, this whole roof along with the back comes off. Now I love this as an option for pretty much making your car convertible. You know, if you know that where you're going is going to be, you know, not raining and it's safe, take off the roof, be free, drive. It's the best feeling on earth. Up on the mountains, roof off, four by fouring, probably one of the best days of my life. If we look at the radio, nice built-in system. I couldn't find Bluetooth. I don't know if I'm just not very tech savvy but I couldn't find Bluetooth. One thing I must say about the Jeeps, what I'm very impressed with. So if you saw in my old Jeep, I had a two 12 inch subwoofers, absolutely love my sound. Now in this Jeep Wrangler Rubicon, the sound system blew me away. It actually has a built in subwoofer in the back, way more space for luggage, for camping gear, for friends. If you wanna throw some dogs in the back, definitely gonna be doing that with Maui next year. I think I've got seven glamping trips lined up that all require four by fouring out in the mountains. This baby is gonna be taking us on many safe miles and I cannot wait to show you the beauty of South Africa. If you wanna see those glamping trips in the near future, make sure to subscribe down below and follow this Cape Town travels for the next five to six months. We look on the outside, few key components of a Jeep Wrangler. You guys loved Lego as a child. Jeeps are pretty much just big Lego pieces for adults. Every little component of this Jeep can come off and you can put an upgraded part on and that's what makes these things awesome to own because you can you can style it into whatever you want it to look like, what matches with your character, your personality. It can be yours. The Jeep has a massive metal bill bar in case we need to plow over some rocks, fences, 
and who knows more of an aggressive look uh, we have extra LEDs down here these are for towing I think I'm not a hundred percent sure I'm still a 4x4 newbie some new headlights that have these really cool like skull faces on them pretty interesting massive wheels now this was a big upgrade my old Jeep did not have this these wheels give you that extra height that extra size and it just adds some character to the car in my opinion very stoked that I managed to get these with this car because the old Jeep Wrangler did not have that pretty much was very very stock loved it but I'm more on the, the upgrade side I like to to stand out fit in it's <laughs> it's one of my very first tattoos was stand out fit in with like a greater sign to to stand out I want to be as different as possible as unique to this world I think you just got to follow what you want to do and not be like anyone else okay if we look here on the side a very standard Jeep logo this live without limits part of the Jeep characters but I will be changing this whole car and the entire paint hopefully I can do a collaboration with a friend of mine there's a garage called smoke him garage they do car wrapping and all sorts of new spray paints and upgrades to vehicles they sprayed my 350z that I had for a couple months almost a year little project car that I bought and they managed to really make it stand out I used to take that sports car go cruise on the mountain roads here in Cape Town and probably some of the best memories of my life anyways when I moved out to Bali for six months I got rid of it because there was no point holding on to it actually flipped it and made some money off it so it was a great little investment this car is more now of a practical car for the next six months of travels that I'm gonna be going on out into the bush glamping safaris mountains camping and something reliable like this was necessary Another little cool feature that already came on the car was this upgraded Jeep fuel um, what is this thing a cover <laughs> a fuel cover tank that's pretty much the jeep hope you guys have enjoyed this little tour of my jeep wrangler and i can't wait to take this baby on many amazing adventures around south africa you can watch more cape town videos this side don't forget to subscribe this side and we'll see you on an adventure somewhere in south africa goodbye my neighbors Yo.